Botswana is very angry. The Botswana president is not very happy with Germany and England. Why is he not happy? He said he's going to send elephants to Germany and England so they can feel what it looks like living with elephants next to them. How did that come about? Sounds funny, doesn't it? I'm going to send elephants to England so you can experience what elephants feel like. <laughs> so what's happening in Botswana is basically there's a large number of elephants. There's plenty of elephants in Botswana. And uh, they had a deal, some sort of a adventure safari that allowed many foreigners, especially Europeans, to come to Botswana and hunt. Uh, by hunting, they would, you know, be happy, you know, pamper their own ego, be happy with themselves, or just shot an elephant. And number two, they would buy artifacts. They would buy remains of these animals and take them as souvenir back to their country. And that, in some way, generated a lot of money for the local people. Now, Britain has said they don't want to do that anymore. They would not allow their citizen to bring anything like souvenir with relation to hunting from Africa, especially from Botswana. And later on, Germany followed suit to say they're not going to do the same either. And this in some ways crippling the economy of the country because many people make money through that activity. The growing population of elephants has meant a herd have been wreaking havoc in the country, damaging homes, drinking waters from pipes, feeding on crops and trampling people to death. So as much as you see elephant on screens, you know, in those cartoons, they look like, wah, wah. they're not all that nice, not all the time. They can be very dangerous. With elephant numbers now nearing 130,000 in Botswana, that's a lot of elephants. Just remember, elephants are massive animals. So why is Botswana threatening to send elephant to Europe? In March, Botswana wildlife minister threatened to send 10,000 elephants to Hyde Park in London. Say, I'm going to send you elephants in London. It came as the British government raised the possibility of preventing UK safari hunters from importing trophies from their kill. I mean, you go, you shoot, you hunt. Once you shoot and hunt, you buy your whatever, you know, souvenir from your hunting. I mean, I don't know why people do that. I would never do that. I rather spend my money on traveling and swimming in the Caribbean or some stuff like that. Going to Jamaica, you know, dancing to reggae music, drinking some freshly squeezed juice and some grilled meat, then go to Africa and shoot some elephants and take souvenir. I guess everybody has their own stupid thing. I mean, mine is not stupid. Anyway, let's carry on. So Germany has now voiced a similar possibility, prompting more backlash from the African nation. Botswana says a ban on importing hunting trophies will be an economic blow for the citizen by cutting safari revenue. People make money through this. I don't know. How do you resolve this issue? Africans don't like going to other African nations to see safari. I mean, safari is a Western activity. I'm just being honest. If you want to do safari, certainly because you, you're a black American or black Caribbean person, you want to see wildlife like that. I don't think Africans really care about that because, I mean, it's part of the genes. It's just like next door. It's like you seeing a butterfly, you know, doesn't make anything. So Botswana still makes a lot of money out of that. And I feel like this is a struggle to power. It's a way of Europeans showing them, oh, by the way, we hold you by the board. We can actually play with your economy by not buying some of your stuff. And I personally feel like Botswana should reciprocate in by disallowing something that profits Britain and Germany. Let's say how about limiting British airway flights to Botswana? Or instead of them coming very often, they only come once a month. I believe the best way to attract somebody's attention is to hit their financials. Same for Germany. Do something very, Lufthansa, you know, do something very similar for them so they can understand. I mean, this is not a joke. You can't just decide we're not going to do this. That brings, you know, funds and money into your country. If you want to do that, then give us, you know, a time frame. Two years, in two years from now, we're not going to do this anymore. Then we know we can prepare ourselves and find alternatives. We would like to offer such gift to Germany. Masisi stress. Germany is the largest importer of African elephant trophies in the European Union, according to 2021 report by Human Society International Botswana. So Germany imports a lot. They know what they're doing. This is not a, look, Europe don't do nothing for nothing. They know exactly what they're doing. This is, yeah, they're trying to get something from something. So they need to move something so you can react. Botswana has already gifted 8,000 elephants to other African countries because there's so many of them. 8,000 to Angola and they offered 500 to Mozambique. There's a lot of elephants, fellas, that could probably feed the all of Africa. Though. I never thought about that. There's no hunger in Africa. Eh? <laughs> there's a lot of elephants to be eaten. So now we are in France. So the French police has removed on Wednesday dozens of migrants, including families. Why? 
you know, France is a beautiful country. I know most of you only see Paris. La la la, la la la, la la la. No, truly is a beautiful place, uh, beautiful light and stuff like that. But France is not what it used to be anymore, okay? In the street of Paris, you find a lot of migrants sleeping in the street. The homeless people, dirty areas. It's unbelievable. It's really unbelievable. Most of these people are migrants from different countries that come to France, uh, hoping to have a better life. The place doesn't look nice. I'm just being honest with you, okay? I don't think anybody would want their country to look like that because they are migrants. I understand many African countries, many African people go to France hoping to have a better life, especially people from French-speaking countries like Burkina Faso, Guinea, Africa, Coast, Senegal, Cameroon, and more. I, I don't know why um, Africans like to go to their colonizers. It's just crazy. I, I don't get it. It's like you will see people that were colonized by French people always dream of going to Paris. It's like they make her. By the time they turn 18, they're already dreaming, how am I going to save money to go to Paris? It's just crazy. And going to Paris is like a, a lifetime accomplishment. It's crazy. For, same for the British colonies. Kenyans want to go to Britain. Ugandans want to go to Britain. Nigerians all want to go to London. Ghanaians want to go to London. South Africans want to go to Britain. I don't get it. These people beat the crap out of you for so many years, but you still want to go there. I mean, anyway, France is organizing the Olympic Games and they want to clean up the street. The French police on Wednesday removed thousands of migrants, including families with young children, from the four courts of Paris City Hall as the capital prepared to mark 100 days until the start of the Olympics. Nearing 100 days before they start the Olympics, they've removed everybody. They've cleaned up the street. The police arrived at dawn to remove about 50 people, mostly women and children, aged 3 to 10, who were bundled up in strollers under blankets and covered with plastic sheets. Migrants packed their belongings and boarded in temporary government housing in town. They packed their belongings and boarded a bus to temporary government housing. It's interesting. So there are available temporary government housing. Why have these people been sleeping in the street again? If there are temporary government housing, so they've done this on purpose. For so many years, they let you sleep in the street to discourage other people from coming. But they do have government housing. They don't talk about that. When you ask for that, it's not available. Now they have the Olympics happening very soon. They want to clean up the street. Now they get you into government housing. If I'm part of these people, I am never leaving that government housing ever. Because I'm the first to discourage people from going to countries that don't belong to you. Hoping to have a better life. Dangerous decisions. To go to countries where you're not liked very much. I firmly believe France can do much better. They have the fundings. They have money. Uh, France has been taking a lot of goods, a lot of riches from African nations. Most of the money comes from these people, countries of origin. So they cannot complain very much. They're able to take care of these people. The proof is in the pudding. Look at them now. They're taking them off the street. Where did they get the money from? Thank you very much, fellas. It's always a great pleasure. Let me know how you feel about this. God bless.